Hey, what's up guys? Gummy Bay here. Today I'm with my extra special guest, Marife. We're going to be doing a Samyang ramen taste test. What flavor do we have today, Marife? Mm, I'm excited. Today we're going to have our carbonara flavored Samyang. I got rid of our randomizer because I really just want to get to the flavor that I want. So this <laughs> is what we're having for lunch. <laughs> and then we've got a special beverage that Marife has chosen. And I think it's a bubble milk tea. What flavor is it though? Oh, well, this is Taiwan classic bubble milk tea. So I'm really excited about this one. We are all crazy about bubble tea in Asia. So I'm really hoping that it tastes as good as the one that you get from a cafe. <laughs> I just had to do it a close up of this packaging because it's just so cute. There's a chicken with a fork and he's got blush little heart shapes on his face and little hearts, blue, pink, and purple hearts all around him. It shows you what the ramen's gonna look like when it's done cooking and carbonara flavor. It's got cheese and cream at the top. Also, here's our milk tea. It says bubble milk tea drink, Taiwan classic. All right, let's prepare it and then dig in. Inside the Sam Yang package, we've got our noodles here and we've got a carbonara powder mix it's not even usually they have like a jelly like a goo and then we have the oh here's the goo okay here's the hot chicken flavor and then here this is like powdery probably like cheese powder We've got our signature Sam Yang hot chicken flavor. Add that to our noodles. And what makes this flavor unique is the cheese powder. And there's actually all kinds of garlic and herbs, I think, in here. It smells really good. It's definitely cheese. That looks great. Hey guys, so we've prepared our ramen. Now it's time for the taste test and we're both really curious to see what's inside of this can. So we've got our clear glass here. Marife, will you pour the right. contents into the glass? Hang on, I think I need to shake this. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. I think I need to get the thing out of the way so that the bow yeah, bubble. Let's go all the way with it, maybe. There we go. Yeah, push it all the way back. Hopefully, it's got tapioca balls in it. Uh uh, it doesn't have any balls. Not yet. Yeah, I just saw one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, there they are. All right, I got all the balls out, I guess. All right. Is this about it? Oh no, they're still coming out. They're still in there. All right. Ha, uh, one more. All right, I think that's about it. Let me see. Oh no, I can feel them shaking <laughs> around in there. There we go. Here's a tapioca ball that is in the drink. As you can see, it actually does come with little tapioca balls. So it is really an authentic bubble tea. All right, it looks good. It looks really like the boba tea that you can get from a milk tea place. It also smells like real tea, like sort of Earl Grey or Jasmine. 
Smell it. Oh yeah, it's kind of, it almost smells a little fruity smell, but uh, it's milky though. It's floral smell. Floral, yeah. <laughs> Not fruity. fruity. <laughs> I don't drink tea, so I don't know how to call it what. Yeah, he didn't like milk tea. This is totally my thing. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the, your favorite, your, think, uh, what do you want to call it? Your most anticipated uh, ramen flavor of Sam Yang so far. So last time I tried the juice before, or I tried a Sam Yang before I tried a juice. So I think I want to try this first. Okay. Just to make sure I know what it, this tastes like. Hmm. Definitely is a strong flavor of jasmine. Floral. That's cool. Let me try it out. Oh yeah, that's definitely a, a really, it's kind of light, but it's really um, a full flavor as well. All right, I'm ready to try my carbonara samyang. It looks really cheesy, it looks really good and moist. Um, I can see the, the chili powder. It's, uh, it's like a gooey, kind of fatty uh, chick, hot chicken pow uh, goo. It's Creamy. like a... And then there's cheese powder, so. So the cheese powder, I guess, made it creamy, but let mm -hmm. me take a big bite. What do you think? Mm. Is it still really spicy? It is, but you can taste the creaminess and the chicken flavor. Creaminess. <laughs> creaminess, yeah. And the like chicken it. flavor. Creaminess. Oh. Yeah, the heat's catching up to me now. Good. Mm -hmm. I like this one much better than the one we did last time. The light flavor, the, the one that's supposed to be 40% less spicy. Yeah. I think the cream or the cheese just really made the spiciness mm -hmm. more tolerable. Yeah, I think so too. I think there's more of a full flavor. Like, Sam Yang's hot chicken is like really good. And it's not just like super hot with no real flavor to it anyways but i feel like the carbonara really kind of makes it even more complex mm -hmm. there's more to it i like this one yeah i think this is one of my favorites so far yeah i know right i'm not joking yeah <laughs> the other one just makes you sweat uh -huh. still if they maybe bring down the spicy level spiciness level Maybe a notch. Mm -hmm. I can finish the whole bowl. <laughs> yeah. It's cool because they put these herb packets in here. Normally it's just seeds and seaweed. Like, I think like sesame seeds and seaweed, a uh, little bit. But this is like, I don't know what this is, some sort of minced uh, herb or whatever. Uh, maybe spring onions. Mm -mm. I'm just guessing. No. No, oh, they're little parsley. Beads. Yeah. Maybe oh parsley. yeah, parsley because this is carbonara flavor, so mm -hmm. I guess it's parsley. Mm -hmm. What I really want to do is try the boba that's at the bottom, but I don't have any straw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't have any fat straws, but wide straws, I should say. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's not as creamy as the milk tea that you can get from like popular milk tea places. It definitely has milk in it because it's not just artificially flavored like milk because it actually neutralizes the heat from the Samyang whenever you have it on your tongue. It's not just like, you know, liquid that is has some sort of like milk flavoring in it. <laughs> I think if you get this and you try to put like the toppings that you usually get from milk tea places just to um, like level it, level it up a little bit, you know, like it doesn't look or feel like it's instant, you can definitely do so like add some um, cream on top or yeah. like some more cheese toppings. Mm-hmm. 
it you probably won't be able to tell that it's from a can but still i haven't tried the boba so mm -hmm. i'll go get a spoon and well we're about done with it anyways so maybe we can just wait yeah all right yeah we'll get there you're not <laughs> eating any of this is it too hot i can't I feel bad i'm eating it all i can do another one it doesn't get to the level where it's like overwhelming, I guess because of the cheese powder. Mm. <clears throat> Once you've had like your third bite, it doesn't feel that overwhelming anymore. Mm -hmm. Like you can feel it, you can taste the flavor. The chicken is definitely strong in the Samyang noodles and you can smell it. It's not like other instant noodles where it's just all spice and there's no other flavor in it. All right, I'm gonna keep drinking this until we get to the boba. Okay. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna get a little before I, this is get hot. Oh wow, now you're drinking milk tea. <laughs> yeah. All it takes is Samyang to make you drink milk tea. All right, I'm gonna swig this, or swig this down. Let's taste the tapioca balls. You can. Do it. Hmm. What do they taste like? Oh, um, okay. I think this is the, the one that will make it make a difference. It's like gel gelatin. Yeah. It doesn't taste like tapioca at all. Uh huh. It's like jelly balls, really. I guess because you cannot make the tapioca, um, like you cannot preserve it in a can. It's gonna be like chewy. Yeah. That's why they substituted it with. This jelly, jelly looking balls. Yeah. So the texture is really not like a tapioca. It's more of a gelatin. Just a little bit more firmer <coughs> than that. Yeah. I'm sorry to, my nose is starting to run a little. <laughs> it does have some heat to it, but yeah. the noodles that is. Not the milk tea. I've tried putting like a, a glass of milk tea that I wasn't able to finish one time in the fridge and the next day the, the tapioca just really got so chewy that you wouldn't want to eat it. So I guess that's why they made it like a jelly mm -hmm. So what do you think about, how would you rate bubble <laughs> milk, Taiwanese class, Taiwan classic bubble milk tea? Uh, for an instant drink, I think it's really good. Um, the, Tea flavor is really strong. They didn't scrimp on that. The milk is just enough. Um, you can level it up if you want to put some <clears throat> toppings in it at home. The tapioca is really not tapioca. So just, you know, don't expect it to be like your usual tapioca when you buy it from a milk tea place. Um, I think that's the only, the only thing that I could say is not they didn't get it right. But so, it's not bad. It's just not tapioca. So what about the ramen there? The chicken oh. carbonara ramen. What do you think about that? This one, this is my favorite so far. So yeah. um, I'm really glad that I didn't let my fate to a randomizer box <laughs> and just went on with my choice of flavor, which is the carbonara, because it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to eat a few bites. And I think I could if they just level it down a notch for the spiciness level. Mm -hmm. If I'm really, really hungry, I think I could eat some more. Yeah, my nose is also starting to, <laughs> <laughs> to be watery. So yeah. it's still very si spicy. Um, don't get me wrong. It's just that <coughs> it's more tolerable than the other flavors that I've tried so far. I've tried a 40% less spicy. And... I think that's not 40% less spicy. I think this one is so much better than that. Yeah. I don't want to cop out like 
do it, go the easy route, but I gotta say, Marie Fay hit really on the head with both of those descriptions. I agree with everything she said. Um, the carbonara is like a really good flavor, um, and there's more to it than just heat. And um, you still get that hot, trademark hot chicken flavor, but it's still got um, something extra to it that's really nice. So um, if you like kind of uh, Parmesan cheese, garlicky taste, I guess, mixed in, then I would say definitely try it out. Yeah, if for those who haven't tried any Samyang, I think this is a good start so that you won't be put off with, you know, trying other flavors. Start with carbonara. I think this is mm -hmm. definitely, especially if your tolerance to spicy food is not as, you know, huge. Yeah. If you're if you're not like a oh my god I love spicy food so much kind of person then chicken carbonara is kind of a Sam Yang you could handle I think and uh, the milk tea is really good I normally don't like milk tea too much because I'm not much of a tea drinker but I really like this especially in a can you don't have to go to a store and pay a whole lot you know and it's a really good flavor and it's even got you know they aren't exactly the same texture but they still work like you know. It's still the same gimmick of, you know, chewy balls in my tea, so, you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Have a good night.